when I first saw the soul seek, I have to admit, I was a little confused. I didn't know exactly where to sit on it, but when I had the opportunity to sit on it, I was surprised that pretty much on any spot on the soul seat, you can rest your body. In comparison to other chairs is um, vastly different because my body does not have the opportunity to be lazy. I'm constantly engaged and I am being strengthened every second that I'm sitting in it. It has incredibly beautiful organic lines and reminded me of the Eames era style furniture. Part of the beauty of the soul seat is that it's made here locally and I know and I feel good that I am supporting a local artist. I have felt very inspired using the soul seat because when I look at it, the design itself is incredibly contemporary, fresh and new and when I walk into my studio and I see the soul seat, it inspires me to create fresh ideas and um, get creative, more creative with my work. work that's displayed on the back of my studio is essentially a seven-year visual diary of my life and experiences in El Salvador. Collectively, the series sings a song that I grew up singing in church, and it was a song that motivated me and inspired um, a confidence in me that got for, of God's love for the entire world. And individually, each painting holds a line of that song. So collectively, it sings a song, but individually, it speaks of different issues or different experiences that I had in El Salvador. The environment that I was used to seeing in El Salvador, you see so many solitary trees. And at first, um, they represented death to me and they represented loneliness because they were such a huge, they were once a part of such a huge community. And um, then as I began to reflect and think more about these solitary trees, I began to realize that these trees have endured earthquakes and they have endured violent storms and they have endured hurricanes and yet they still stand strong. Coming from El Salvador, where it is the second most deforested nation in the Western Hemisphere, um, I began to uh, have more of a respect for nature and more of an appreciation and an awareness of health um, and the products in regards to the products that I was using in my uh, paintings. So this new series, I like to use clay and milk-based paint a non-toxic lacquer to create my painting compositions and they're all created on um, wood that comes from a sustainable forest. This series inspires me because it, um, it has an awareness of health and it has an awareness of um, our earth. 